How are we doing everyone? Hope you're all good. It's Tuesday, it's the uh, 16th of April 2024. It's Steve here from Weather Focus, taking a look at the weather for the UK and then the longer trends for up to two weeks. So yeah, we'll have a good look at things. Things are set to turn colder just at the time of year when you want some warmth to start developing. So without further ado, let's just move it all along. So the central England temperature is sitting where it was this time last week at 11.4 degrees, so still 3.5 degrees above the long-term average. I'm expecting that temperature to fall off somewhat in the next week because yeah, daytime temperatures are going to be rather suppressed, but under clear skies at night, there is also a frost risk. And yeah, as a result, temperatures will fall quite low. The anomalies can be seen well across the UK. This is the situation today. The anomalies mark in the deviation from the norm. So country is sort of affected by a north or northwesterly flow today and these blues are indicative of temperatures in some places particularly across the east and southeast of a two to five degrees below average and this is going to be the scene i think for the next certainly the next couple of weeks temperatures generally below average but the focus on those lowest temperatures relative to the norm always towards the southeast of the uk it's just something to be aware of. Temperatures are cool. These are the current maximum temperatures across the UK. 13 degrees, that's 55 degrees Fahrenheit, currently at Southampton Weather Centre. But yeah, many places are struggling today. 11 to 12 degrees is the current maximum temperatures. And if you're going to get any showers this afternoon, and there will be a fair few, those temperatures will fall away quite sharply. Right, let's take a look now at your facts charts. This is the broad situation. You've got low pressure to the east of the UK, high pressure well to the west with a run of northwesterly winds across the UK, bringing showers. This is tomorrow. So once again, low pressure anchored in the North Sea, that high pressure perhaps getting a little bit closer, but still fronts coming down across the far west, a trough across the east of the UK, and there will be afternoon showers being sparked up in between. On Thursday, perhaps a little bit of respite for the certainly England and Wales and many parts of Ireland. That high pressure starts to nose in, so quite possible the showers will tend to be less frequent and heavy on Thursday. But towards the north, there's a new area of low pressure, which will be bringing in more persistent rain at times. Push this forward to Friday. That low pressure is then transferred once again to the North Sea. We get a renewed push of the northerly breezes, a cold front clearing the south coast in the morning will take its showers with it and yes the rather cold spell continues back to the here and now so we'll take a look at the radar i can see that at the moment we've got some fairly heavy showers quite organized in the far north of scotland a few showers are breaking out now across northern ireland and many parts of england and wales and particularly down towards the southeast i think throughout the course of the afternoon these showers are likely to become frequent and more heavy with the risk of some hail and thunder. Also, there's some showers showing up across the far southwest. Right, what I will mention also is the upper air mass. It is cool and things will remain cold for the next week or so. I'm just going to show you this. We always talk about the minus five line as generally being the boundary of cold weather in winter. Well, yeah, that minus five is cold at any time of the year. And if we just run this through from Wednesday, through Thursday, just perhaps some respite, as I've mentioned, on Thursday with some less cold air in the far west. But just as we mentioned in the last forecast, there's always plenty of cold or cool air to our east. And this is where the east and particularly the southeast will always be at risk of more in the way of colder air either coming in from the northeast or off the near continent next week. So it's turning into a rather chill spring. And I think fair to say that the remainder of April, particularly across England and Wales, will be cool. OK, we'll now take a look at the rainfall uh, precipitation, how this wants to play out. It's generally a real sunshine and shower scenario. As we've mentioned this afternoon, some of those showers will become quite heavy. Um, possibly with a bit of hail. I'm not going to rule out some thunder for a time. They will die out overnight. And then tomorrow is a bit of a repeat performance. You start the day fine and sunny. 
The sun warms up that land in the morning, convection initiates, and then the showers develop around the middle part of the day, clearing towards evening as the land cools and it loses its energy. As we've mentioned, for many parts of England, Wales and Ireland, it will be a slightly drier day on Thursday, that ridge of high pressure extending enough influence in to stamp out those showers, but towards the north of the UK, there will be weather fronts pushing in from the west that will be bringing more in the way of general cloud and rain. Throughout the course of Thursday night into Friday, as we've seen, that cold front then pushes back southwards across the UK, and then by Friday, we're back to square one. We're in that sunshine and shower scenario in cool northwesterly breezes. Towards the weekend, there is some signs that high pressure will push in, particularly across many western parts of the UK. So I'm expecting a generally dry and fine Saturday for many parts. However, around the periphery of that high pressure towards the north of Scotland, you're always at risk of Atlantic weather fronts. And towards the southeast, you're always at risk of more in the way of cloud and possible showers coming in from the North Sea at times. By the time we reach Sunday, that high pressure has generally exerted its influence across most parts of the UK. So perhaps Sunday is likely to be the best day of the weekend with lighter breezes, less in the way of showers. But what I will mention is that high pressure will be pushing into air, which is already quite cool. So there is a frost risk across many parts of the UK over the course of the weekend. We push forwards into Monday of next week. That high pressure tends to retrogress back westwards into the Atlantic. We open the door to more northerly breezes. So yet perhaps after some respite at the weekend, the showers return into the early part of next week. As I've mentioned, the southeast most prone to those. Uh, in cold air. So that's the generally cool and unsettled uh, outlook. I think we'll just have a quick look at the rainfall precipitation, total precipitation in the course of the next week. Those showers always more prevalent towards the east of the UK, always drives to the west where you're closer to the area of high pressure. Just looking at this, you're looking at typically 10 to 20 millimetres over the course of the week across the north of Scotland, where you're going to be at, in, at risk from those other fronts at times, and across eastern Britain, generally 10 to 15 millimetres in the course of the next week, courtesy of afternoon showers. Longer term trends, so what we'll do is we'll just take a look at London, we'll go to Manchester and Inverness. We'll start with the two metre trends uh, for London. So there you go. It's rather cool throughout, isn't it? Considering the average now should be close to 15 degrees by day. It's uh, a cool signal in London. Go north to Manchester. It's a cool signal in Manchester, though perhaps just slightly less cold across the weekend when you've got that more of an influence from the west. And if we just push northwards to Inverness, well, signs that things could become a little less cold more generally across the weekend. But that's the exception rather than raw. I think it's probably fair to say that yeah, temperatures will be struggling average at best across the north of Scotland. So that is it in summary. I think it's probably fair to say that uh, things do remain rather cool. I'm just showing you a chart here from the ECM. This is the mean chart in 10 days time, high pressure to the, uh, to the northwest with a run of northeasterly winds. Spring is on hold. So hope you found the forecast useful. I'll be back again on Friday with the extended thoughts. But in the meantime, enjoy the rest of the week. Look after yourselves and ciao for now.